Designs can take different forms. An arrangement need not necessarily be high, in fact it can be quite low, depending on where it's going to be placed. This is a larger base bowl and it has foliage applied to it in an oval shape. Highest is towards the center, widest to the sides and wide across the center part but not as long. Now if it was going to be round then it would be equal all the way. So therefore where is it going to be placed? Why choose a shape like this? If this is going to be placed on a coffee table and the coffee table is perhaps rectangular in shape then this design would be suited to it. You may not wish to have anything particularly high if people are seated around the table, so we'll keep it fairly low. But the highest point technically should be this central area. It's also possible to use a design like this where you flare the back up slightly higher, lower to the front, and it may be placed against a wall, but where perhaps there's a painting behind that you don't wish to cover. So the design's fairly adaptable. These are lovely roses. These are being placed in different height levels, working outwardly towards buds. We're spacing the flowers. If foliage is upside down and quite visible, remove it. And it's always easier to keep things on a downward movement rather than upward. There's more flow with the design. Remember, sharp angles when you cut your stems as they slide nicely into the foam without breaking the stems or without crumbling the foam. And you can also step down the front if you want to face the bowl towards a particular direction. You can work the line downwards. If this was a table center, the center of a dining room table, this area here and here would normally come straight across the middle of the bowl, peaking to the center and coming down in steps. But if this is going to sit perhaps on a coffee table as suggested, there may be a better viewing side. So this may be the point of entrance into the room. So we'll face more of the arrangement. It'll still be pleasing on this side, but there's more prominence to this front view. We have pom-pom dahlias. These are being placed. They've got good foliage. So therefore, if you didn't have a good foliage base, these would certainly help. We again work with smaller towards the top. So we might even peak that one right up near the orchids. But it's sitting behind them so that it's not right in with the orchids. One is not conflicting with the other. And we can then step them down. Now I've moved this for a particular reason, that head is facing almost at right angles. So therefore, if we allow that to sit down on that angle, it will look upwards and sit correctly. However, if that flower had been placed right in the center, it would look forward and down, which wouldn't be a good placement. We're working out and spacing the pom-pom dahlias. Make sure that there's room for the flowers in the foam, otherwise stems will break. Plus the flowers may not be obtaining their maximum moisture. The texture of this foam that I'm using, this water absorbent foam, is quite firm. You'll feel as you place the stems into the foam, where it touches the foam and then ease them in right into the foam so that they are taking the moisture. Remember good firm angles when you're cutting. So the shape can be extended as we're doing there. Out using those buds. And try not to have groupings where they're all close together unless that is your intention. If you do that you have to have continuity in those groupings, so there's specific areas forming that grouped area. Now these have a slight lemon tinge to them. This one's bruised, you see the bruising's on the petals there, so unfortunately that can't be used. So we're selective. If the stamen's left on for too long, they will also bruise the, or mark the flower. 
and this is an option of colour. We actually have this colour in the orchids as well. And it's a matter of whether you need this extra filling or not. Or you might find in a room that you actually have the features of these colours, perhaps within the furniture, within the drapes, within wall colours. There might be piping within a palmet in a room where you need to pick up these colours. If you have the opportunity to look at the room and give your suggestions, these are things that you look for. So you best colour coordinate to complement the room. So that's coming in on this side. Good point of camouflage. If extra foliage is needed, you can in fact use the lily foliage. Remember to strip it at the end so as it goes nicely into the foam. The different contours or shapes of foliage can always be interesting in an arrangement. Just don't show the blunt ends of the foliage if you've cut it from stems. Now these roses are fairly open, so they would be specifically for a function. If you need it to last longer, then use them in bud and then allow time for opening. There might be a little bit more work required on the back, but it's interesting to view this design. It faces in this direction where it will be placed in the room and then it's just a matter of the few spaces that are at the back, just a little bit of extra filling. So it's really a table centre in its aspect, but designed to flow forward. If this was for designed for a wedding table, for example, which usually means it would be in whites or creams with a subtle colour perhaps introduced. If the maids are wearing salmon pink or lilac, there may be slight introductions of colour. It could then flow forward so that the flowers and foliage extend forward in a flowing movement across the front of the table. This is known as the table cascade. And uh, ferns like the asparagus plumosus fern or the asparagus spendrii, commonly known as coarse fern or um, soft fern, flow forward and you need flowers that are able to contour so that their stems are not too rigid. And that's a very interesting design as well. Candles can also be placed into an arrangement. This really is an extended posy bowl. This particular section here could be very much the lower posy bowl from this rose downwards. But we've extended across and out each end and it makes a very nice table arrangement. Candles can be extended or they can be uh, a little lower, but watch your flower content and make sure that your candles are dripless.